Welcome to this workshop. Today we will introduce you to the art of Ikebana, Japanese flower arrangements. So today we're going to make a very simple Ikebana. To technically acquire all the skills for Ikebana, it takes three to five years, but can also take a lifetime of learning. For those of you who are very young, please ask a parent or a guardian to assist you with the materials and the tools that we'll be using today. So to begin with our materials, firstly, get some flowers, be it on your walk or from your friend's garden or your garden, and get yourself a nice selection of stems and colors. It can be daisies or anything that you find. Um, and what we'll do is we'll be focusing on color, harmony and shape. And usually even with Ikebana, just the simplicity of using three flowers can be very effective. So there's our flowers. Um, next, get a large leaf. And it's good to have maybe a selection. So you've got one large leaf that's this shape and then you've got another one that's like this. And then you will also need some pebbles or you could use some gems. I just got these from my front garden and you will need some jars, be it a glass, a jar, a tea light or a drinking glass and um, just get a jar similar to this shape and then you will need a scissors. Now it doesn't have to be a professional garden scissors, you can use a child scissors um, but if you're using a scissors like this please uh, again if a parent or guardian could please assist. And yes, let's get started on our Ikebana. We'll begin by cutting the stalks off the leaves, like so. And trimming up the center of the leaf, just cut it in half. There are two leaves, we want to fold them over like so. And taking the top, roll that down like this. And then we're going to put it in here. Pour the water into the glass like so. Make sure we get it up enough there. And getting our other glass, pour the water in. So now you can see that we have these lovely shapes. Oops. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double over the leaves because I think that we could maybe even create more layers. So again, just doing that technique again, cut off the stem, cut the leaf up the center. It's not easy to cut this leaf. <laughs> and then place it down, doing the same with our other leaf. Right, we'll start with this one. Placing the leaves on top of one another and then simply rolling it. Until you have this lovely shape here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in the center here of the other leaf. So we're left with a number, 
beautifully shaped coils. Placing it on top of one another and doing the same with this. Until you've got this lovely shape here. And we're going to do the same here. We'll place that in the middle there. So we've got a nice like so. And then we've got our other one here. And now we're going to get going on our flower design, adding a little bit, bit of more colour to this. We're going to put the flowers onto one side for this particular technique, creating some spatial balance. The idea is to compose elegant contours to highlight the flower's beauty. And we're going to place the flowers just in between the creases here. Like so, and I think what I might do is I might take this purple one here for a bit of height. Oops, no. Place it in here. And I think it could do with just one more touch. And there we go. We have a very, very simple Ikebana right there. And you can place it on your dinner table or keep it in your bedroom, wherever you like. So that's just one of them, one of the many options. I think what I might do with this one is I'll use the lovely roses we have. I, I think I might put them lower down. Again, placing the roses, oops, spilling a bit of water there, here. And you know, I think I could even go lower down again. Placing the roses just here. Near to the earth. And maybe getting our daisies. Though a bit of colour could be nice either. There's a lot of playing around. I think th these would be nice. Lovely purple contrast. So I'm going to put this variety of shapes. We will put this in here for a bit of height. And I think just to make it a little bit more artistic, I'm going to add this one here. I could do them like this. And you've got two lovely shapes there that would look great on a table setting.
see all the different shapes. And for our other one. There we go. Ikebana strives for harmony with nature. Over the seven centuries of its evolution, Ikebana has developed many different styles of arrangements. I hope this small and simple introduction will inspire you to embrace the technique and make many more. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy making your own Ikebana.